Hello everyone. Apologies for the wait. Um, just making sure that the tournament gets started and everyone gets into their uh, proper station. So right now, over here at station number one, we're getting the two players uh, up and ready. So right now in station number one, it is Jerry versus Nightfall, uh, who is currently competing on Pelpinima Stadium. Look, I'm gonna be frank with you too, with anyone here. Uh, I certainly do not know much about Smash Brothers, uh, so, but I will try my best. So, hello, yo, yeah, yeah. We're gonna see Steve uh, pop off right here against Nani Sephiroth. Welcome, welcome to Fairfield University's SSBU September Journey. All right. So, so Sabid is going as Terry, while Nani is going as Sephiroth. Honestly, Nani has like an interesting like long range sword attack, so like he could probably like distance himself from Terry's um, most of Terry's moves. I would say, I would say, but Terry, Terry is fighting back with all his might, and he honestly has the uh, percent lead right now. Although it's only been like 30 seconds, I can see that these two are competitively viable, as I can, um, as I would like to say, simply because they're trying to get as uh, much damage in and get the hell out of each other's range. Currently, Nani is in the lead with a percent lead, but Terry has the ghost off. So honestly, ooh, and nice implementation of the ghost off right there, where Terry was able to get. Uh, several up to 89.3%. If Terry can keep this up, like he, he can and will get Sephiroth off um, out of here. See? Exactly. Like I said, already Terry has the stock lead. But how long can he maintain this lead? There are currently two stocks to three. Trying to go for an edge guard, having failed. Now Sephiroth has to control of center stage. Terry still has his go, so we can see what he can do with it. He still has a stock, still a kill percent, but at the same time, oh, no true kill confirmed, and there is no edge guard. And Speed does guard. Recovering. Is this going to be a three stock? At 151%, still capable of being killed, but it seems like Speeve's understanding of how to play off edge is above what Nani can handle. And there it is. Now it is 2 to 1, but there is still a decent amount done on Nani. And they begin the combo. Ooh, the smash attack was denied. Getting juggled. Right now it's a neutral. At the moment, it seems like Thieves is preferring to stay near the edges, trying to bait out their opponents to spike them off as they did prior. It seems that Nani's understanding of, of the recovery isn't nearly as good, seeing as they're just grabbing going. But they are recovering just fine, and now Speed has gotten his go back. There is an ability, and oh, the ledge guard! Cutting off. Now it's a one and one to one. One stock left for each of them. But Nani is dangerously high percentages. This could be it. Ooh, and the DI saves him. It's really tense. Speeves has no damage on him. Nani has to go and pull a lot out of the bag to pull the sweep off properly. Good spacing by them. Oh, but it seems like he's gotten caught out, although not quite punished yet. There wasn't enough follow-up to send him up off the stage. They're putting up a strong fight, seeming to take better care of spacing. Nice utilizations of shielding. Oh, and the shield broken. The punish hit, and the reverse sweep from Nani. Absolutely amazing job on Sephiroth, bringing it back in the last moment. Now that. That was good.
Taking a look at the players here, you can tell it was an intense match as both of them are shaking off their hands. You can see them stretching. <laughs> We're getting ready for the next round. It isn't over just yet. Right now they are choosing the stages and choosing which ones that they would like to use. Sounds like they are deciding between Smashville and one other. Gentlemen's agreement, and they have chosen this stage. Let's see, will there be a mix-up? Now he's sticking with the Sephiroth, seeing as he was able to recover after reading his opponent. Steve now moving to the Kazuya. Plus comeback mechanic much heavier and the ability to combo is still there. Another Street Fighter character. Right now they seem to be feeling each other out. <laughs> Nani seems to be disregarding the spacing quite not yeah. Get, it gets punished. Uh, Nice defensive shield, but the grab into- Ooh, not able to follow up. His reactions are quite good in this regard. Wrong direction though, and they get punished. No true combos are getting landed right here. Every- a lot of the moves are simply going to- Oh, but- ah, As I was saying, Caster's Curse. Immediately saves the set up and smash them out, killing them at quite a low percentage. That's the power of Kalia. Oh, and the deflect is able to punish, but not quite yet able to ki be killed. Seems like Nani's not able to fully space their abilities properly just yet. <coughs> this game is getting intense. These stocks are... Still a 3 to 2, and both of them are at high percentages though. Nani's not able to punish off stage, and Steven is able to recover just fine. Steven's been able to, yeah, simply recover better. Kabuya is now at a dangerous percent. Ooh, and the counter right there. They read their opponent like a book, and they punished for it. Yet again, another. Spicy grab. Although seems at high percentage, this could be a 3-0. But if last if last match was anything to go by, Nani may have things in the bag. Let's see this ace up their sleeve. Last round, Nani was able to pull back the whole entire round by wonderful spacing and punishing their opponent, playing more careful. This time you see a grab, and they're and they're holding the center of the stage quite well, spacing properly. Another toss, toss off the side of the stage, and an attempt to spike down, just barely missing that sweet spot. Oh, oh! There's the combo, the combo continues, but it does not go true and off. Nice shield to, to parry, and Speed looks like they're in a tough position, and there they go. Now a two to one, but Nani is not out of the woods yet. They still have to pu pull the reverse sweep as they did prior. They are still well within kill percentage for Speed if they get a nice combo off. And there it goes! Nani tie it up, 1-1 one, one in the series. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for commentating. Alright everyone, back. Yep, you just saw a spectacular match from Jerry and Nightfall. Uh, right now I am going to put it in some bracket stuff. So, all right, Giga, 2-0, all right, just put in that, 2-0, oh. check the score, all right, I believe we have the first loser match here, all right, Looks like this match.
match has already started, but I have not seen the actual match because I am putting in brackets. Um, let me just quickly go in there and commentate for a little bit. Oh, right. Wow. And we're already seeing like a huge percent lead for Sephiroth, but my guy Kazuya is already with that flaming sauce over there, making sure he is distancing himself from Sephiroth's sword. Honestly, like, this Kazuya player is doing incredibly well, using the laser to, like, knock Sephiroth off. That's incredible. Sephiroth right now is holding on and making sure he's getting back on stage, and which he did, and Sephiroth with the back attack right there, getting Kazuya off stage, and finally killing him. Letting Sephiroth have the stock lead to 3 to 2. Amazing work from the Sephiroth player in Nani. Now Kazuya has his work cut out for because now he's already up to 62.4%. And Sephiroth over here looking like he's able to read him like a book. Oh, commentator Clarice. Looks like Kazuya was able to take a stock from Sephiroth, putting Sephiroth back to 0%. But honestly, this could be anyone's game. Like it, it could be anyone's game, really. As Sephiroth can kill either Kazuya and still proceed with a major lead, or Kazuya can get a combo in and kill Sephiroth, making them even. Oh no! And we see that Kazuya is now in his final stock. This is a different match than before. Where they were both even, but now here we see Sephiroth reign supreme against Kazuya. If unless Kazuya, unless he did, uh, pull something off of his uh, hat, I don't know. I think this game might be going to Sephiroth here. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, these two players are doing pretty damn well, making sure they're getting away from each other's attack range, making sure they're trying to get to that two frame with um, two frame, catching them off guard and stuff on ledge, making sure they could get as much projectiles off over here. Oh, yeah. Honestly, they're both pretty damn good. But there can only be one winner here, and that was Nani Sephiroth. All right. Now it's time for me to put in bracket stuff. All right. So what was the score number? All right. Two in Knight's Fall's favor and one win for Jerry. All right. <laughs> Jerry's going to get him in the run back. I see. All right. Then, wow. You better watch out, my guy. But all right. Um, so up next, it is <sighs> this man with the log name. Okay, so. So currently, this one is free. In station number one, it is Queen Joy Malt Kester Ball Batman name um, versus the level 9 Steve. <laughs> station one, you will be on 